hello students how are you i hope uh, you all are fine and staying inside the house washing our hands uh, regularly and following the guidelines that has been issued so today for class 7th i am going to start the topic motion and time before starting motion and time we need to discuss two words that is rest and motion okay so what do we say when an object is rest at rest it is simply means that the object does not change its position with respect to time and when we say that the object is in motion we say that the object is changing its position with respect to time hence it is in motion now look at the given figure an object a at t is equals to 0 seconds is at certain position and let's say after 10 seconds t is equals to 10 seconds it has changed its position so is it uh, doing some kind of motion yes definitely it has changed its position with respect to time so yes it is doing a motion but what if i say that at t equal to 0 and at t equal to 10 the object a is at the same place then we can easily say that the object a is at rest so we can simply differentiate between rest and motion by saying when an object does not change its position with respect to time it is said to be in rest and when it changes its position with respect to time it is said to be in motion getting it now in class 6 you have studied different types of motions what are they they are straight line motion circular motion and periodic motion straight line motion means for example car moving on a straight road circular that is it is along a circle example car moving on a circular path or we take a walk on a circular park at the circumference of the circular park so it becomes circular motion now tell me if in both straight and circular when i'm telling you or i am asking you that car moving on straight road does it change its position the answer is yes because it is moving on the straight road so it comes under the category of the motion and similarly on the circular path also when we walk on the circular path we are definitely changing our position with respect to time so it is a motion it is not rest and third one is periodic motion what is periodic motion periodic motion is the motion which repeat itself after a particular interval of time means that after every fixed interval of time it will repeat its motion the motion that had been done by it in first time period it will be repeated in the next time period for example if an object is performing a certain motion in first 10 seconds then in next next 10 seconds it will also perform the same motion that is called periodic motion and the example that i can say is pendulum getting it so after this discussion of motion we come towards the two words that is how can be judge the motion slow or fast now let us compare our motion with a bus or a car in same time definitely a bus or car will cover more distance as covered by us but how can we say slow or fast we can just say slow or fast with respect to each other whenever slow or fast are said it is said to be with respect for example if two cars are moving then one car is said to be slow with respect to the other and one car is said to be fast with respect to the other now what if a single car or a single object is in motion how can we compare slow or fast or is there something different we will talk about that so the word that we can use to describe the motion or the slowness or fastness is speed yes for a single object you can say the speed of the object it is the most convenient way to find out which of the two objects is moving faster as compared by comparing the distances moved by them in a unit time now this is important we can compare the distances moved by them in a unit time 
and unit you already know means one okay in a unit time so take for example we take two objects a and b say a covers 60 kilometers in one hour and b covers 40 kilometer in 45 kilometers in one hour so we can easily say that a has covered more distance so a is moving faster than b or let's take another example a covers 20 meter in one second and b covers 30 meter in one second definitely this time b is faster than a but what is the difference the difference is in the unit and that unit will be discussing later okay so this is the word that we can describe for a single object the slowness or fastness can be described with respect but speed can be given for a single object also now after this discussion on speed the question arises how we can define speed the speed can be defined as the distance covered by an object in a unit time Wherein? distance covered by an object in a unit time for example if we say a car is moving with a speed of 80 km per hour what does it means it means that it will cover 80 kilometers in one hour but is it ideal to say that or will the car move with the same speed throughout for one hour no it is not ideal case because definitely you know that car will have applied brakes or car should have started with zero speed also so what is the perfect term to describe such conditions we can't say that the speed is 80 throughout the journey of one hour the speed may be may have been decreased or may have been increased so the term that comes for so the terms that comes for such condition is average speed let me give you an example for example is your height equal to the average height of the class of your class no definitely not how does we calculate the average height simply by taking the sum of heights of all the students and dividing by it with the total number of students this is how we calculate the average height but it does not mean that each and every student has got the height equal to the average height but it is represented as average height that it is the data of a particular class similarly average speed is not the speed that is throughout average speed is said to be total distance covered divided by the total time taken so now I can say that if a vehicle is covered 80 km in one hour then I can say that the average speed not the speed average speed of that vehicle is 80 km per hour getting it now there will be two kinds of motion uh, non-uniform and uniform motion S they are they can be understood by their name non-uniform means speed keeps on changing with respect to time means that a object or a car a bus anything that is not moving with a constant velocity or speed it is uh, continuously changing and this is the example in the daily life you might have traveled with your father in a car on a bike then this kind of motion is very common because you know that your father or whosoever is driving cannot drive with a constant speed and the second one is uniform object moving with constant speed or we can say speed does not change with respect to time so this thing with respect to time is very important in the terms for speed because the formula for average speed is total distance covered divided by total time taken so now as we've studied the formula of speed that is total distance covered divided by total time taken now it is time to calculate or to know what is the unit of speed as we know that in the formula distance covered so the distance can be in meter or kilometer and the time taken can be in seconds minutes or hours okay so the unit that is generally used as a unit of speed is meter per second or kilometer per hour according to the given formula because you can see in the formula the total distance covered so in uh, numerator uh, meter or kilometer will come and in denominator it is total time taken so second or hour will come 
to solve the questions related to speed we need to know some important conversion i hope you are aware about them but let's discuss them again important conversions are as follows 1 km is equals to 1000 meter 1 minute is equals to 60 seconds and 1 hour is equals to 60 minute that is 60 into 60 seconds why i told this because and when you will solve the questions related to speed then they will be really helpful to you so getting it so the unit of speed remember it it is very important part unit of speed i say again it is meter per second or kilometer per hour and the formula for the average speed is total distance covered divided by the total time taken so students in the next video i will be discussing some important questions regarding the same formula to average speed or speed that is distance upon time okay so do revise this lecture and uh, uh, be prepared for the questions that will come okay thank you